Hey guys, what's up? This is Manoj sir and in this video we are going to learn Fourier series where the functions are having points of discontinuity. Very important problem. So the problem says find the Fourier series for f of t equals to minus 1 when the limit is from minus pi to minus pi by 2. f of t equals to 0 when the limit is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and f of t equals to 1 this function f of t equals to 1 when the limit is from pi by 2 to pi okay so here b minus a if you see then b stands for highest limit and a stands for lowest limit okay here b equals to pi and a equals to minus pi so if you if you uh, want to find b minus a that is pi minus of minus pi that is 2 pi okay therefore the Fourier series for f of t is given by f of t equals to since we have the Fourier series of f of x equals to this that is a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin of 2 n pi x upon b minus a where a naught a n and b n can be okay we can find the value of a n a naught a n b n by the help of Euler's formula which is this okay and again you see b minus a equals to 2 pi here in the problem b minus a equals to 2 pi so for b minus a equals to 2 pi we are having formula of f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation n equals to infinity b n into sin n x okay where a naught equals to this a n equals to this and b n equals to this so since b minus a equals to 2 pi in the given problem so we are going to use Fourier series as this okay that is f of t equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos of n t plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n into sin n t this is my equation number 1 okay now we will try to find the value of a naught a n and b n one by one first let us start with a n a naught sorry a naught which is equals to one upon pi limit is from a to b f of t dt okay now one upon pi fine if you see the function f of t equals to minus 1 when the limit is from minus pi to minus pi by 2. So here we can write minus pi minus pi by 2 and f of t is how much minus 1 dt okay plus now limit is from minus pi to pi by 2 to pi by 2 minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and the f of t function is 0. So here minus pi by 2 to positive pi by 2 and here it is 0 times dt plus again here if you see function f of t equals to 1 when the limit is from plus pi by 2 to pi that is here pi by 2 to pi and the limit and the function f of t is how much 1 times dt okay fine now since here we have 0 so this integration will become 0 now we are going to solve this and this part we are having two terms left okay this is 1 upon pi this minus take this minus common and this will be t limit goes from minus pi by pi to minus pi by 2 okay minus pi to minus pi by 2 now this will become plus t limit is from pi by 2 to pi okay now put limit 
minus times upper limit this will become minus pi by 2 minus of minus pi that is plus pi okay here it is put upper limit this will become pi minus lower limit that is pi by 2 okay now remove this bracket that is 1 upon pi this will become pi by 2 minus pi plus this is pi minus pi by 2 okay this pi pi gets cancelled this also gets cancelled so we are left with 0 that is the value of a naught okay now we will try to find the value of a n okay fine a n this equals to 1 upon pi times integration a to b f of t cos n t dt okay now 1 upon pi here limit is from minus pi to minus pi by 2 and f of t is how much minus 1 so here you see limit is from minus pi to minus pi by 2 and the function f of t is how much minus 1 times this cos n t dt plus since for the limit minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 f of t is 0 so we are neglecting second term we are directly writing the third term that is limit is from my, matlab, plus pi by 2 to pi and here f of t is how much 1 okay so right here pi by 2 to pi okay f of t is how much 1 times cos n t dt now close this bracket okay now we will solve 1 upon pi this is um, integration of cos n t will become sin n t upon n okay limit is from minus pi to minus pi by 2 okay come to this part that is integration of cos n t will become sin n t upon n and limit goes from pi by 2 to pi okay again put upper limit this is negative so sin n times minus pi by 2 upon n so lower limit will be since upper limit is negative so lower limit will be positive sin n times minus pi upon n okay here plus sin n pi upon n upper limit positive so lower limit will be negative sin of n times pi by 2 upon n okay now since we know that sin of minus theta is minus sin theta so this will become positive sin n times pi by 2 upon n since sin of minus theta is minus sin theta so this will become negative sin n pi upon n this is plus sin n pi upon n this is minus of sin n pi by 2 upon n okay this part gets cancelled this two gets cancelled so we are left with nothing okay that is zero so we are having the value of a n is how much zero so here the value of a naught equal to zero and also a n equal to zero now we'll try to find the value of b n okay b n equals to one upon pi integration a to b f of t sin n t dt okay now 1 upon pi okay for the limit minus pi to minus pi by 2 we have the function f of t equals to minus 1 so minus pi 
to minus pi by 2 here the f of t function is minus 1 into sine and t dt okay again plus f of t equal to 0 for the limit minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so neglecting this integration part we will write the third part that is f of t equals to 1 for the limit pi by 2 to pi okay so here pi by 2 to positive pi and here f of t is how much 1 time 1 times sine and t dt okay so we are going to solve this part okay here negative integration of sin nt will become minus of cos n t upon n and limit goes from minus pi to minus pi by 2 okay plus integration of sin nt will become minus cos n t upon n limit goes from pi by 2 to pi fine 1 upon pi times minus minus will become positive cos n t upon n limit goes from minus pi to minus pi by 2 this becomes negative of cos n t upon n limit goes from minus मतलब limit goes from pi by 2 to pi okay now putting limits and taking this n common okay so this is n times pi so here cos of n times minus pi by 2 minus cos n of minus pi here minus cos of n pi since upper limit is negative lower limit will be positive that is cos of n times pi by 2 okay fine again solving we will have 1 upon n pi since we know that cos of minus theta is cos theta so this can be written as cos of n pi by 2 and this will become cos of n pi this is also cos of n pi and this is plus cos of n pi by 2 okay so here if you see that this term gets repeated and these two terms are also gets repeated with the same sign so we can rewrite this as twice of cos n pi by 2 minus this can be written as minus 1 power n okay since we know that cos of n pi equals to minus 1 power n cos 2 n pi equals to 1 sin n pi equal to 0 sin 2 n pi equal to 0 we are using these results directly okay so here upon n pi okay so this is the value of b n okay so here we are having the value of a naught equal to 0 a n equals to 0 and b n equals to this much so from equation 1 which is this Fourier series of f of t okay the Fourier series of for the function f of t is given by f of t equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n t plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n into sin n t which is my equation number 1 so putting the value of a naught equal to 0 a n equal to 0 and b n equals to this much okay in the equation 1 we have f of t equals to take writing this term okay summation n equals to 1 to infinity 2 upon n pi cos n pi upon 2 minus minus of 1 power n okay into sin n t okay so this is my Fourier series for function f of t and this is my final answer so if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button and please share this video with your friends 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू